Hey everybody, what's going on? Aunt Pruitt here. Hope y'all are doing well. I'm unbelievable as always. I think it's Thursday, at least I hope it's Thursday because I'm right here on air with the smartphone photographers community and we're doing our weekly-ish hangout on air that we like to call point and shoot. Each week we try to get together and discuss different tips and tricks that can help make you a much better smartphone photographer. You know, because I've said it a million times, everybody that's here in this panel has said it a million times, the little phones that you walk around with on your day-to-day -day life, they can take some really nice photos if you put just a tad bit of effort into it. So that's the kind of thing that we like to look at and show and share and try to make you folks a little bit better and make all of us in the community a little bit better at smartphone photography. And in addition to that, we like to get together and have a little challenge, if you will, little photography challenges. And they're all themed on whatever that pops into the winner's head, you know. And uh, we have fun with it, share the shots, see if they meet the criteria of the theme, and um, critique and have some fun with it. But it's good times. So anyway, enough of me babbling for the moment. We have some guests in here tonight joining me, and I'm going to allow them to uh, say hello and introduce themselves. We're going to start with one of our newbies, <laughs> as in newbie joining us on air, that is. He's been in the community for a while, but it is my pleasure to say hello and what's up to my man, Mr. Tony Bushko. How you doing, man? Doing good. Doing good. How, how's everybody? You are unbelievable, man. You're over there on that, that West Coast, California, right? Yep. 69 yeah. high degrees today. Oh, she's just, yeah. I swear, these those people over there, they don't know anything about seasons. I don't get it. That's why they have rubber trees. <laughs> they, they just, all they do is um, each year, when, they, when the season changes, they just uh, the government comes out, replaces the trees with different colors. <laughs> just, they're all rubber trees. All props. All props. Yeah, seasons is just the name of the local bar. No. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. The Four Seasons. <laughs> tell, Tony, this being your first time in the community uh, hangout on air, tell us a little bit about yourself. Let us know a little bit about who you are and what you shoot with when you're sharing your shots. Yeah. Um, well, um, I live over here in uh, Southern California uh, in Orange <laughs> County. The phone that I use uh, to take uh, smartphone photos is the Moto X 2nd Edition. Oh, okay. So it's like XT1096 or something like that, I think, or 95. Yeah. It's off of Verizon, so because I know each each carrier has its own. Right, model. right. And so that's uh, primarily what I shoot with. Um, and just I'm using a, a, a like regular bigger camera, um, mm -hmm. shooting at home and stuff. But uh, that's primarily what I use right now. That's what's up. Sweet. Well, we appreciate you joining us. And um, if you can turn your gain up on your mic just a touch, or if you got to yell, okay. tell everybody to get out of your office. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Appreciate you joining us. Next up, we got my man over in Houston area, my man Michael King. What's happening, man? Not much. Yeah, today winter's finally here at last. Because uh, uh, up until the last two days, it's been up near 80. But now, <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was up near 78. But then the low came came down to 32. Now it is in the 40s and it's been freezing again tonight. So otherwise, but yet the sky's been unbelievably clear. Just another and it kind of feels good day. to be out of the hospital because I just... was been in the hospital until today. Well, we're glad you're on the man and back home, my man. I had a heart attack. What? I had a mild heart attack Sunday. No, Saturday. Dude. Well, we had so keep I'm kind of laid up right now. <laughs> well, now you have at least about, well, you have at least 45 minutes or so right now on air to just chill out and relax, my man. Oh, yeah. I just, I'm sorry. That's why I just haven't been able to, I, this has been a, what I was looking forward to, and I just couldn't get into it. But now that I can work out of the house for a while, I have yeah. some time to take some pictures. That's what's up. All right. It's good to see you as always, my man. Appreciate you popping better. in. Mm, yes. <laughs> I do feel a lot better. 
Next up, we'll go on up to um, way above the New England spot there, my man Joey Kelly. How you doing, bro? Hello. Good <laughs> evening from the northernmost state in the contiguous U.S. Freezing and, most state. Well, yeah, freezing. y'all can suck it with your temperatures. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, th- this time of year, in all seriousness, we have had an unseasonably warm winter. Uh, cannot complain. Will not complain. Uh, last year at this time, we had about three and a half feet of snow on the ground. Uh, oh. This year, we have none. Oh, um, nice. But we are expecting upwards of seven inches over the, over the next 24 hours. So you got missed by the blizzard? We did. It actually went um, to the south of us. Uh, and some to the north, but uh, my my particular little band of the world was was not in uh, the snow belt, which was kind of nice. Yeah, I was I was, I was just saying that. <laughs> yeah. oh, goodness. Well, man, it's it's good it's good to have you in here this week. I know you had to miss last week because you went out on a a wonderful road trip, and I'm happy for you, and I'm glad you had a good time out there. Yep. As a matter of fact, that brings up an interesting little comment about smartphones. What's that? I took my SLR with me, yep. charged up the batteries, ready to rock and freaking roll. I'm going to lay down some video and some stills if I get the chance. Da-da-da-da-da-da. I'm walking around this event. I brought it with me both days of the event. It never left the bag. <laughs> only pictures and video Did I the shot. The Nexus come out, my man. The Nexus came out. The Nexus Six <laughs> came out, and you know what? The only thing I missed was was image stabilization because by the time I was shooting pictures and video, it was late in the day and I was a little jittery. Right. Uh, right. But I mean, honestly, I couldn't have asked for much more, and I didn't bring a tripod with me, so I don't know how much more stable the SLR would have actually been. Might have right. been worse. Because I might have been standing further away using the lens. All right. That's true. That's true. And, again, Joey is, is someone, you know, he, he carries an SLR, and he knows what he's doing with that SLR. does a really good job with this with this photography over on joeykelly.com. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but he's also sold some photos taken with his Nexus 6. So that tells you it can be done, folks. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and get us ready to take a look at our challenge for this week. Last week, Miss Annette Holland won the challenge with a really, really cool photo, and she decided to to task us with show emotions as far as the uh, theme went for the challenge. And I like stuff like this, again, because it, it, it lets you take a wide range, you know, um, of photography. And I'm going. I'm going to be frank. Unfortunately, I don't think we got a wide range this time. Uh, yeah, you're siloning again. No. Take over. Go ahead. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we got 11 photos submitted by eight people uh, for this week, and the challenge was, uh, as Annette uh, laid down in her description, the human face and form can convey so much without a single word. Show some emotion, and not just happy faces either. Let's see the whole spectrum. So, of course, the challenge there is that if you're antisocial and single like me, uh, to find people <laughs> that are willing to be photographed. Good gosh, man. <laughs> somewhat difficult. Now, if she'd said photograph, show emotion on your cat, that I could have done. <laughs> that that would have been a lot easier. Um, so Annette, next time, cat photos. I can do that. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it was a uh, an interesting thing. I, I agree with what Ant was starting to say about how good these challenges can be when you're not looking for a specific technique or color or anything like that. It really allows the photographers. Uh, style and vision and eye to come out. The downside, of course, is that... Sorry for that shaking sound. If you guys can hear that, that's the dog scratching himself in the next room. Uh, but anyway, uh, it really allows the, uh, the the photographer's style and eye and, and whatnot to come out. And that's a double-edged sword because 
although when you, you get the wider opinion and variety of shots, you also sometimes have a difficult time trying to gauge whether any, whether or not a shot actually fits the challenge because it's not necessarily wrong. If you say, okay, these are all have to be black and whites and you get a color image, okay, not right. But in this case, it's all about the emotion that you can convey, and that's not something you can easily quantify. Right. It's the, that's, the fun, that's the fun thing about these challenges, for sure. Does my audio sound like crap still? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Carry on. I'm going to go ahead and share the screen now, and you just guide me. That's I've been waiting me. for Ant to ask me for guidance for years. <laughs> uh, and now we fell in this little trap. <laughs> oh, no. God. Oh, yep, Michael's hurting in pain from his laughter, and Ant is underneath my control. It's a good hangout. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. All right, starting with our latest arrival, uh, let's have a look at Annette's actual picture here. Um, oftentimes, I kind of disqualify the person who put the challenge out uh, just because I you know, don't want to have them win two weeks in a row. But I got to say, this is one of the more interesting images from a technical standpoint that I saw throughout the, uh, the Hangout. It is not incredibly heavily edited um, in terms of it's not, you know, whacked out and totally color altered and tweaked and whatnot. It has been black and white and has been subjected to a couple of filters. But one of the things that I like about it is that her eyes are almost perfectly in focus and the rest of the face is kind of soft. And yeah. because of that, it kind of makes you zoom in like laser beams on the lot, on the eyes. And the eyes, in this case, she's very expressive, and it's a good shot. Yep. The, the couple of things I don't like about it are that even though the eyes are almost the subject of the picture, she's not looking straight at the camera, which to me is very distracting. Um well, she looks like she's driving, and she's probably taking a picture as she's driving, so... <laughs> not a recommended procedure here on smartphone photographers. I I'm hope just saying. Not. Well, so audio still crap. crap. Yes. It, it, it you, breaks every now... Is it breaks you, um, Is that a USB or SLR? I mean, a X, XLR mic? It don't matter. Go ahead. reason why I say if it's USB, you can unplug it, plug it back in. It sometimes fixes that. Couldn't hurt. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah, I like what she's done here. Um, nice thing. She did actually put in what she did to it. This is an LG G4, uh, pixel or crop and edit, and a filter that she's applied. So, night, thank you, Annette, for actually posting the, the technical comments. That's always appreciated. Uh, let's throw this down to Texas. Uh, Mike, any concept? Uh, any comments? Excuse me. Since she knows where I live, I, don't, I want to be very nice. I don't want her to come because she, she's one of my neighbors. She's in the Heights. But, yeah, I like it. And it looked like she's stuck in stuck on probably uh, 45 or 610 in traffic because I can see the cars. But I like it. But still, um, you're in, everything you say about the eyes and everything is really nice. I tell you, it's a good picture. All right, and our newbie, Mr. Tony, what do you think? That's nice, too. I'm uh, looking at it on my screen here and um, zooming in on, uh, you know, how you made you made a point of the eyes being, you know, in focus, you know, really in focus, and it does draw your attention to it. It's, it's really, you know, it's a nice photo, really nice photo. Uh, but, Anything yeah. you would have done differently? Anything you don't particularly care for? I think, well, I don't know. Oops. Um, I think the soft. Well, no, no, everything looks fine. I, I like zoomed in really, like all the way over here, and everything looks looks pretty good. I think the filter, the color, co color is kind of good enough for me. I think I probably would have stuck with the black and white instead of the this Antonio filter. It gets called. Mm -hmm. Is my audio still crap? Yep, you're crackling a little bit. Just a little bit. It's not as bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot to ask you, Michael King, anything you would have done differently? Well, 
Not really, because uh, I just like the way she did. She did it. Hmm. Now that's I, interesting. In contrast to my comment, Aunt is now saying in the chat, "Hey, I like the way her eyes are looking away." Well, that's because yeah. Aunt, you're wrong. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I like the way they're looking away too. But it looks like what's one thing she could be very well have taken a picture while she's stuck in traffic and she was checking out the uh, rearview mirrors and everything. But I like the way it lo she's not looking at the camera. Hey, that's that's what I love about photography. There's a half a dozen people with a half a dozen different opinions and a half a dozen different styles, and none of them are wrong. They're just different. Indeed, so, indeed. Yep. So you're still kind of breaking up. Um, one of the more interesting examples are actually a pair of shots from. Uh, let's see here. Who's this? This is Tony Cresson. Um. She's got a pair of shots here. One got three votes, one got two. And they're almost identical except for the emotion portrayed. So they're kind of almost almost kind of take them as, as one. Um, and we, we have obviously two very different... Uh, very different emotional states here in terms of their intensity. What I found interesting is that this is one of the one of the more interesting photos to take. If you look at the technical uh, uh, over on the right here sign here, she says she shot this photo with her Samsung S6 Edge Plus of a video on her laptop that she made using a tablet back in February of 2015. So you're looking at a still photo taken by a smartphone of a video playing on a laptop that was shot on a tablet. <laughs> a lot of devices went into this one, folks. Uh, for those that are counting, that's probably somewhere between one and two thousand dollars worth of technology to create one one or two pictures, um, which is interesting in and of itself. Uh, I really like the 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 emotional states that are shown, um, and I like the, the, to me the the kind of pixelated nature of the photo. Because if you if you either one of them, if you look at them, you can tell that it's that, that it isn't exactly a crystal clear, crisp photo. It's got some noise to it. It's got some grain. It's got some pixelation, and that's of course because she's shooting it at a screen. However, I kind of like that from an artistic standpoint because... I think it works with these emotions. Yes, it I does. Agree. I agree. Hey, you good, Be yeah, now you're sounding fine, Dan. I, I think it works very well with these emotions because it, it makes you, you stand back a little bit more from it, and it's less like you're there, and it's more like it's art. Yeah, indeed. It looks like 1984. Yeah, it sort of looks like that. Um, makes you think of Apple. <laughs> Yeah. There you I'm go. Just, no, okay, no where's the where's the screen. where's the uh, where's the lady with the uh, iPod with the hammer? <laughs> Throw it at the screen. That's what it looks like. Okay, please tell me that you guys do know that there's more to that than just the Apple commercial. Yes, we know, dude. Okay, good. <laughs> You're in a room with a bunch of nerds, duh. Just saying, you know, <laughs> just saying. The thought police are coming. I um I I I love what Tony did here. You know, considering um. You know, she shared in the community that she's she's disabled, so she she has a hard time getting out of the house. And I like that she, you know, tried to be creative and come up with something to participate in this week's challenge and be able to pull off, you know, her emotional state. Because I don't know if you guys know, but she writes on her blog um, about her disabilities and, and mm -hmm. um, her treatment that she's dealt with from... I'm not going to say the place, but, you know, that she's dealt with and she's not real happy with it. And she she gets very vivid in her writing about it. And knowing that and seeing these these photos from her, it, it just resonated with me even more because I know how she feels about it. And this one here in particular is just because I know she's talked about migraines and stuff for for 
um, for the last I, year. So I can empathize empathize because I get migraines all the time. Right, and I've never had a migraine, but everybody that I know has a migraine. They don't say anything nice about it, you know. And mm, this uh, this looks. It's, you know, there's three versions, three levels of it. Just you know, one of these not bad, bad, and then the special effects one where you see the light when you bolts. see yeah yeah i've heard that and i've had those and those those that that, that face reminds me of that what are your thoughts on this mr bushko no it's it's a very you know dramatic emotion on it i mean uh you can see there's there's a lot of emotion in in the photo um and just her also you know the the forehead, like you like the thought. You know you could see see it see it. Yeah, in the see the creases in her forehead. Yeah. And uh, I mean it's it's a very it's a emotional dramatic photo. I think. I mean it's and it I, I think it's pretty good. It was I, I was kind of thrown off a little bit at first when I first saw it. I was like wait it looks kind of like from a something from the TV. You know yeah. and I read the the detail on it of exactly. Um, Know how she got to it, you know. And personally, myself, I would have gotten rid of the little TV stuff there because it would still work without this descriptive thing here. Um, oh, yeah. she did that on the other one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, it would totally work without this. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's that's what threw me off too on the bottom with the the place that in it stuff. Yeah, but uh, overall, the picture's great. Yeah. Good job, Tony. Miss Creason. Anything else you want to add, Mr. Kelly? I like it. Mike uh, King, what'd you think? I like it. As I said, I like both of them. And as I said, that second one, I can empathize with that because migraines are no fun. And when I get one, I want, only thing I want is a nice, dark, cool room with. Yeah. No lights, no anything. Just hear my fan, run, my ceiling fan running, and that's it. That's what they all say. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I had one once and it debilitated me. I couldn't even drive. It was three miles from home. I couldn't get there. Mm. Yes, I've had those like that, and that's what I said. That that pick that whole thing, I can just empathize with it because when I get one that bad, that's it. All right, so let's uh, take a look at a few more here. We'll look at, uh, I want to look at the last three here. Let's do it this way. Let's start with this one. And this is me picking on my man Michael Wilson again. <laughs> uh, I believe he uses a note. Crap, it took it a second for that thing to load, didn't it? There we go. Yeah, he uses a uh, Note 5, and he says his son is always smiling when he sees the choo-choo. And I know that that I know that excited a couple guys here in this hangout. But the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this shot was, I want to know what's over here. Because he's not looking at the camera. I mean, his attention is clearly over here, clearly to the point where he's pointing over there. Um it, it it just just made me wonder, but then I got into the quality of the photo as far as the child's emotion, because uh, whatever he sees over there, it makes him very very giddy and excited, you know, and it clearly came out in this shot. Um, anything I would have done differently with this one? Uh, not too much. Uh, he doesn't. It's, it's a little uh, blurry back here in, comp in comparison to the shrub over here, but I can live with that um, because that's not the subject matter. The subject matter is right here, you know. But I love it, Mr. Uh, Mr. Wilson. Nice work. What are your thoughts on it, Mr. Uh, King? I like it. It kind of reminds me, you need to look this up, uh, a movie called The Last of the Giants. That's what it reminds <laughs> me of. Only thing you don't see is a train coming across the uh, the right. um, the uh, street with the with the um, railroad crossing, but that's what kind of reminds me of. I like it. Anything you'd have done differently with it? 
not really unless they, unless you can get the uh, the kid to look a little different laying, but you know they're gonna look at what they're gonna look at and then whatever catches their eyes. But again, said just look up Last of the Giants and you'll see that what I'm talking about. I, t I take it back. I do have one suggestion. Um, cut down the highlights just a little bit. Oh yeah, because oh, yeah, if you look at the grass, they're a little bit uh, blown a little bit. I'm looking at a shirt here. Yeah, the okay. shirt. Also look, also look at the grass yeah. and everything. They're a little uh, overly, uh, overly um, lit it's up. Kinda, yeah, but up the there. eyes are perfect. Yeah, right. That's, that's, you know, you had a, That's the only thing with it. You, uh, if you did that, you might have lost the eyes. I don't know, unless you can have a way to selectively do this. Right. But the eyes is perfect. The head and everything. Yeah. And just the little places that are just a little blown, but. Yeah. I guess you're gonna kind of have to take the good with the bad. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Mr. Mr. Kelly? Uh, I like it. Um, I actually like the fact that the shrubs behind it are blurred because that uh, tells me that he had this in a portrait mode or mm -hmm. post processing did it. And I think that the shot is really the kid. It doesn't matter. Right. right. It doesn't matter what's behind him. Almost, it could be could be the boar attacking. It wouldn't matter. Right. Um, you know, the subject is is the kid. And um, I, I actually I, I agree think, with Joey. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! Now, if Sweeney was to say that, then we could write that down in the history books. Um, one other comment: I am guessing that this child is left-handed. Uh huh. Good whether observation. Or not, yeah, whether or not that has been noticed yet. Uh, by uh, Mike Wilson and family, but I'm betting he's left-handed because, generally speaking, you point with your dominant hand. This is true. Yep. Good observation. Yep. And coming from a southpaw, I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Even though, as you can see, I wear the watch on my right side mm -hmm. or right arm because, with all the stuff that you can do with it, mm -hmm. I can't do it with my with my uh, right hand. I have to use my left hand. Of course. One thing I figured out very early on was I was left-hand dominant, but I'm almost totally ambidextrous, uh, which is one of the reasons why I can ride a motorcycle so effectively, because I have no problem clutching with one hand while throttling with the other. Uh, things just work. <laughs> what about you, Mr. Bushko? It's nice. I like it, too. Um, like like how you mentioned earlier, too, um, you know, the bushes in the background are, you know, it's almost like he's had like a lens blur on it. Uh, yeah. But the thing is, but the it didn't blur the the bush on the left, which I don't know if that makes you know if if that would make it a little stand out even more, like you know if if the bush on the left was a little bit blurred out like mm -hmm. uh, like the other ones, right. then you know it, he I think it would have he would have popped out more. Uh, but I mean that's the only thing that I uh, that I would would have done. But you guys it's fine. You guys think this shot would work in color? No, 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 no. no. I think this one. The, I already think this one works. Two reasons: just the way it's well done, but I think the other reason is that it's in black and white or gray. Mm -hmm. You know, grayscale, but more trying to be a black and white picture. I think this one, if you added the color to it, it might detract a little bit. What were you saying, Tony? Oh, nothing. Joey? Uh, personally, I like black and white. I like color. I think the color in this case, I am guessing there is an awful lot of green right behind him uh, mm -hmm. in various things, the grass, the leaves. Uh, well, maybe not the leaves, but the grass, the shrubbery, uh, whatnot. I think that would probably be a relatively bright shade and probably be distracting from the relatively pale colors of skin tone. So gotcha. I think by making it a black and white, you turn those into a gray, and it allows you to have an awful lot more freedom with the contrast um, and, and really emphasize the subject, which is, again, the child. Yeah, I was curious to hear your thoughts on that because this is, in my opinion, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Joey, but this is the kind of stuff that you shoot. You know, it's, it's natural portraiture, outdoors, Oh, this, it, this is you, you know. Oh, you mean candids? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I much prefer to work within candids. By the way, you, your audio is staticking again. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, you're right. This is 
this is much more of my element than the posed shot that I absolutely... It's not that I can't do them. It's just that I don't feel that they come out very well. You know, everyone has a different school of photography and a different school of thought. My first entrance into photography was from a historical perspective. As a result, I prefer to catch people doing something or as they are to preserve a moment in life as opposed to a posed shot where you're forcing them into a moment in life. Neither is wrong. It's just different preferences. Yeah, different ways of looking at the same thing. You know, I, I mean, by the, by the same token, I did actually call up a friend and have him, his wife and his daughter come out and, and stand where I wanted him to stand to shoot a picture. The difference was is I just told them where to stand. After that, they were on their own. Right. And After it's that, still you told them to be like themselves. Me. Yep. Yep, and you're still, and you're still uh, staticing. It's not as bad. It just it comes and, and it just comes and goes at times. Yeah. Not much we can do about it. It's all good. All right. Well, uh, we'll look at one more before we look at the one in shot, which is this one. And how does my audio sound? Breaking up. Yeah. Okay. Carry on, Mr. Kelly. All right. As usual, an exceptional photo from Jose. Um. Or, sorry, he corrected me. It's not even Jose. It's something that I, I... Sorry, again, I've mispronounced it, and I know you've corrected me once, and now I've forgotten again. So I apologize, man. Uh, but this is just another one in a long string of photos that I have been completely and totally impressed with uh, from this man. Um, I don't know how he's doing it, he, he, you know, it's amazing to me that he either spends an awful lot of time with his camera and his editing uh, that I don't have, <laughs> or he's just really, really good. And I'm not sure which, or if it's a combination of both. But once again, hats off to our. It's not quite Jose, but I'm going to call him that. Um, this is just a beautiful shot. It. If, if anything, it reminds me almost of one of those Apple ads from the Think Different campaign. And I'm saying that oh, mostly yeah. in Michael King's good graces, um, being the mag head in the room. And, <laughs> um, but I, I love its use of white space, and this is definitely one that makes me think art gallery not taken with a smartphone. Right. Right. That high-key lighting. Got her face all the nice and smooth now. I mean, clearly she's breaking up. very, very. Yeah, you're you're breaking up bad now. You're really bad now, my aunt. Um, but I think what Aunt was starting to say was the face is all smooth and whatnot, and 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 working, and and as he's saying in the chat, yes, clearly a happy child. I completely agree. Um, I definitely think that this is a posed shot. Uh, no question that this. I I, I don't see this happening organically. Um, but that does not detract away from it. It's just simply different. Um, but as you say, I, I don't see that there's any malice in this child's face. I mean, this is definitely a happy kid. And one of the things I like about the way this has been lit and the way the background has been blown out is that, again, it puts the emphasis on the subject, not by having a narrow depth of field like the other one did with a very narrow focus, it, but instead by having almost nothing behind the child except for the child's face, which is what the subject of the photo is. And, you know, black and white conversion works very well. The lighting works very well. It's balanced. I don't think I'd change a thing. Uh, what about you, Mike? Again, this one, yeah, as you say, this might be a post one, but it's well done. I can't really see anything that can be changed that will make it, make it better. I think if you try to change it, it might even make it worse. Make 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 not make it worse, but it is beautiful way it's done. I just like the way it's. I just like the whole thing way it was done. I didn't vote for it. And what about you, Tony? The yeah, uh, it's it's nicely done. The only thing that I saw was that you can see where her elbows are. The uh, I guess the 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 carpet or rug or whatever she's on that that wasn't, um, you know. Uh, Taken out like all around her on the other on the uh, you know the rest of the background, 
that's the only thing that I that I that I noticed. That's a good eye. Yeah, I wonder if it would almost look too space cadet-y without something to lean on. You know, in other words, like it's, she's just floating. I I, I I could be wrong. That that that's one of those where that could go either way. If you look at it one way and it looks funny, you change it back. Well, hopefully you can hear me, but he could get rid of that texture but still have the shadow there to give you the appearance of her leaning on something. You know what I mean? Yeah, possible. Possible. You can you can use the smudging tool with GIMP or Photoshop or whatever and smudge out those those little striations there, and it will literally just look like a shadow from her shirt and from her elbows. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah because be if you look on... Yeah, if you look on the left side of it, it's uh, those kind of gray squares or what are kind of kind of removed off, and then there's like a little bit of shadow. Uh, but I mean, I, other than that, uh, but you know, I wouldn't touch anything else. Yeah, well done, good job. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's look at our wedding shot before my audio dies one more uh, time. It's already dying. It's already it's already <laughs> going belly up. It's on life support. Okay, carry on. All right. So somehow, some way, Jose has managed to impress me not once but twice in the same contest doing a challenge. Pardon me. I always say contest. It's a challenge. It's not a contest. There's no prizes um, except bragging rights. And this is, I mean, almost, almost an identical picture in terms of how it's stylistically set up. But the subject matter is completely different. The facial emotion is completely different. The feeling I get from it is completely different. The way it is cropped is completely different. But yet, at the same time, I can completely tell that this was shot probably the same day, same editing situation and whatnot, and it is a gorgeous shot in and of its own right. Um, what do you think, Mike? I love it, and I guarantee we had another person here, Portis, he would love the crop because it's one of his his famous Porter's crops, the 16 by 9. <laughs> mm. But I like the way it's cropped. I think the whole thing is just, again, it is well done. Mm. He is, I think he's almost a pro photographer that he could probably do this both with a smartphone or even a high-end SLR and come out with the picture just as good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What do you think, Mr. Tony? It's nice. I, I voted for this, of course, and uh, you know, I, I uh, very nicely done, and the the cropping of it too is it's it's great, and then also you get to like the 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 uh, forehead expression too on his on his for you know uh, mm -hmm. seen perfectly too. You know, it's and, it's uh, yeah, it's it's nice. It's an interesting decision to crop outside of your traditional proportions. You know, you're, you're four by six, you're five by seven, you're eight by ten. Um, those are your quote unquote quintessential um, crops, and and that's what people are used to seeing pictures cropped in. So anything other than that is is a variant. And sometimes the v people do things to be different, and it doesn't work. In this particular case, this was cropped differently, and it works extremely well. Um, I, if if this was Taller and less wide, I don't think it would be as dramatic. Um, if no. you saw the, his full forehead and hairline, I don't think the crease uh, just above the nose of the almost furrowed nose would come out as well. Um, I, I also think that this is, again, an excellent use of a very shallow depth of field where, again, the eyes are just about perfectly in focus and then everything else is just a tiny bit blurred. And I think that that emphasis would work less well if it was uh, not cropped in such a dramatic fashion. Because quite frankly, the one of the first reasons why my eye caught this shot when I was looking at all the pictures to vote from was the fact that it was so dramatically differently cropped. And different is not always better, but in this case, I think it definitely works. I no agree 100%. And for those that didn't quite hear that, Ann said he agrees with me 100%. Now, again, if we could get Sweeney in here that say that, then, like I said, we'd have a landmark hand hangout. Sweeney doesn't agree with many people. <laughs> well, you know, Sweeney yeah. is... Sweeney he's, a he's a curmudgeon. 
Well, let's just not start with any Sweeney Todd jokes. Uh, all right, so uh, our friend and community member, Mr. – again, I think I'm screwing this up, but I'm sorry I'm going to stick with it. Jose, um, in the clock Jorge. is – yeah, is, it, is that what it is? I, I can never pronounce it right. Anyway, um, the clock is ticking, my friend. Um, please get a challenge thought together, and uh, if you don't wish to post it yourself in the community, uh, have myself or one of the other two moderators, uh, or three moderators, excuse me, um, take care of that for you. And we look forward to seeing the next challenge. Dun, 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 dun. Um, and that's about it. It um, on what we had on the challenge this week. I did want to bring up one other topic on on the voting process, but uh, did anybody else want to bring up something else before I went down that road? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I noticed, and this is one of those things where, again, the challenge is about emotions and to bring out an emotion in a photograph. So it's not one you can judge on technical merits. It's one you have to judge in, on the photo's emotional impact which is, again, not quantifiable, and it's all basically just judging. Um, and you were breaking one up. of the things that... What, huh? Yeah, you just broke up a second ago. I didn't hear. Okay, let me try that again. It's not something that you can, uh, that you can judge on a quantifiable scale. It's not a technical challenge. It's not a, okay, this process has to be used to create an image. It... It, it's all about the emotion that you can generate. So as a result, it you can't judge it on technical merit. You have to judge it on a an emotional response that you have when you look at the photo. And one thing I noticed as I'm looking through the photos is that the ones that I'm drawn to are the ones with smiling faces. They're they're not the ones with the pained or the or or the the stressed or or whatnot phrases. They're the ones with the people that are smiling, that are happy. And I was just wondering, has anybody else noticed that? No, you bring a good point. You're breaking up bad too now. Can you hear me okay? No, you're really bad. I think what it is is you're in, uh, Mr. Pruitt, because uh, I heard every word that Joey said perfectly. Okay. All right. We'll carry on. Okay. But you got a point, Joey. Um, unfortunately, I was just after just getting home from the hospital. I was going through all this stuff, and um, uh, I looked at it the way you, the, you know everything, and I have to agree with you for a change. Write that down. <laughs> It's it Seriously, Aunt, right now you can't talk, but you can write. Write that down, uh, <laughs> Mr. Tony. What did you? Uh, what do you think on the subject? Say it one more time. I'm sorry. Uh, what do you think about the subject? Oh yeah, no, it's I. I you bring a good point. I mean, uh, you know, I'm looking at all eleven right now. And the ones that have the smile faces, you're more drawn to it. Um, I guess it's just a, you know, a human nature that, uh, you know, it's it's a good feeling to see something, um, a positive smiling uh, thing on someone. Uh, we're more drawn to it. Uh, we're more attached to it. Um, you know, uh, I, I think that's just human nature that we have. Um, you know. Because when I look at it right now, like I, like the three pictures, the what's, there's four pictures that, five pictures when you look at it, and those pop out. Uh, the couple ones that we looked at, three of them, and then the one with the holding the dog, and then the one at the like a, at a cafe or whatever. Uh, those you know, uh, you know, drawn because of the smiles. So that's an interesting. Interesting comment on human psychology more than I think photography, in that you know you always want to see the smiling faces, and although yeah. that's not necessarily the reality of the human experience, it's definitely I would say probably the ideal that we're yeah. all shooting for. Yeah. So. I know it's 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 kind of funny, but there was a if you guys have all seen that well, it's that uh, movie um, just married. And the guy was saying, like, oh, you know, when you look at photos and everything, 
what pictures do you have in there? You're all smiling faces, no, no bad emotions, because you always look back at your happy moments. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, well, on that note, in light of the audio difficulties, we're going to wind this up. Um, first of all, uh, for myself, I just want to say thank you all to everyone that uh, joined the challenge this week, and we look forward to having you all back next week. And, of course, uh, submit some more photos. Most of our challenges have a three-shot maximum, so even if you only get two people responding, you should be able to get six photos out of it. <laughs> so anyway, um, once again, check us out on uh, the, uh, or I should say, this is the Google Plus Smartphone Photographers Community. We are on Google Plus. We are also at smartphone-photographers.com. Um, you can find our uh, host and community owner, Mr. Ant Pruitt, at just about everything with Ant Pruitt's in it, including antpruitt.com. Uh, he is, of course, fabulous as always. No, awesome as always. Ah, I forget his catchphrase. <laughs> Unbelievable as always. That's it. Uh, had, I, it took me a second, uh, but I got you. And uh, so let's see here. Mr. King, uh, where can we find you and all of your photos and everything about your digital life? I can be found on the web, either Google Plus or anywhere. It's either Michael King or Michael King 4023. That's anything, including uh, Flickr and all that. And then on the third. Saturday of the month, I'll be at my Apple users group. What's that called again? Houston Area Apple Users Group, otherwise known as HOG. And that is our logo, a silver hog. So eating, as usual, uh, Michael a, King is li living his life high on the hog. <sighs> uh, all right. So before we get any more pig jokes in here, uh, Tony, where can we find you? Uh, yeah, you can find me also on Google Plus, uh, also on um, Twitter at uh, Tony Busco, and it's uh, B U S K O. So even though it's Busco, it's B U S K O. And uh, and uh, I have some pictures on Philp that I just started too. So that's uh, and on Instagram, I uh, same handle as Twitter. All right. Yeah, you're not alone, by the way, in the co suffix on your last name. I have a friend up here. His uh, last name is Dairy Co, and I call him the Milkman. Uh, he hates that, but I still call him that anyway. <laughs> So anyway, for myself, you can find me at Sarcasm in Motion. No, just kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah. Joey Kelly, J-O-E-Y-K-E-L-L-E-Y dot com. Uh, that's, and from there, you'll find links to my photography, my Facebook, my YouTube, my various other websites, my computer repair business, and anything else. By the way, for those of you who are digital photographers, I do design custom backup strategies to keep your digital life safe. So, uh, on that note, we will see you all next week on the Smartphone Photographers Community. Point and shoot.